Hi there, this is Justin. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the fixed function in Tableau. I consider it to be the most powerful function in Tableau, and I'm going to show you why. In order to demonstrate this function and what it can be used for, I'm going to be using the Superstore dataset, and specifically the orders table. So before I start uh, showing you what this function can be, can be used for, it's important to understand the data set that, um, that we're going to be using. The orders table the grand, uh, has order information. Uh, the granularity of this table is on the specific product that was purchased level. So, for example, the first two rows is a specific order, but we can see there's a duplication of the order ID. And the reason for that is because we're talking about specific products that were purchased within the order. So let's just say this is the data, the only data you have to work with, uh, where the focus is very much on the order level. Um, this is the, the granularity is, is around products and orders. But you also see here we have customer information. We have the name of the customer that bought the individual products. So if you wanted to understand more about the customer, you would usually be a bit stuck and you would most likely have to rebuild this data set where you're grouping by customer, you're doing left joins and so on. But I'm going to show you how the, fu the fixed function can be used to get around this limitation. So let's just say we wanted to understand on the individual customer and, and uh, customer level the very first product that each customer bought. So typically what you would do in this case um, is you would take uh, order date and we could exp um, break it down to the, the daily level, change it to discrete. And now I can see, okay, we've got the, you know, um, we have the breakdown of orders per customer and we can see the first row is going to be the order date uh, for each. You could also um, go ahead and do something like this. We're going to do min order. Now we can add it to our uh, view. And since the table is built out, <coughs> excuse me, since the table is built out um, where each row uh, has the customer name, we can go ahead and do something like that. And now you're going to get them in order. Another way to do this is by using the fixed function. So if we go ahead and do uh, create new calculator field, I can go ahead and do the following. So I'm going to go ahead and, and start with curly brackets and write the word fixed. I'm then going to do customer name and um, do semi uh, do my colon and then I'm going to do min order date close my brackets and the curly brackets and now basically what I've done is I've told Tableau across the entire data set wherever you see customer name for each customer name calculate for me the min order date okay so I'm just going to give this a name fixed order date uh, fixed min order date just put in brackets here customer name and now we have a field that's going to calculate that for us. Go and see day. Make it discrete. We'll end up with the same value. Now you might be asking yourself, what's the difference, Justin, between min order date and using the fixed? In this case, there is no difference. But where the fixed function gets really, really awesome is you don't have to group by a single value. We can go ahead and we can do grouping by numerous values. So in this case, we're saying, Mr. Tableau, look through the entire data set and for every unique combination of customer name and product name, bring me the min order date. Okay. So if I now change this and you'll notice immediately the data is now split, right? The reason for that is because this field is calculating 
the first time that the customer bought every single individual products. So if we go ahead and we add our product name, we close date, you'll end up seeing that you have a lot of duplications here and that's because um, our customer most likely bought multiple products in the same order. And we do see that, right? Now, um, another very useful uh, application of the fix function is to do mathematical calculations. So um, I'll give you an example. If we wanted to look how much money each individual customers spent, we could do the following. Sales. Okay. And now if we put it up over here, we've got to be really careful because for every single row in our data set, we're calculating the total sum of all sales. So if we want to get the actual amount in the table like this, we have to change from sum to max. Because if we sum, we're summing all the totals across the entire data set. But max is going to only return um, one value for us. Okay. And if we can do a quick check, let's just add this over here. Discrete for a sec. And basically now, if we sum up all of these values, we should equal this value. So notice for every single row, essentially, that I've gone for error, I've been able to force Tableau to bring me the sum across the entire data set. Um, so that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions on the fix function and you know some other interesting use cases or uh, applications of it, then message me on Slack and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.